Hello, supporters of Public Advocate and the American public, thank you for all the help you've given me to collect 120,000 petitions to oppose the homosexual lobby and oppose the transgender abuse of children in our country and to stand up for religious liberty. You've done that 120,000 times. And now we're going to present these petitions to Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to get them all, 120,000 petitions. Public Advocate presents you, Congressman Green, with 120,000 signed petitions opposing the transgender and homosexual agenda to corrupt children. We've collected these petitions for years. We've been bringing them to Congress for years. But today, you have distinguished yourself above and beyond your duties as a member of Congress and the leftist democratic controlled congress has told us and the world they fear you they fear you be by their cowardly undemocratic treatment of you and uh, essentially falsely sanctioning you we we salute you we cite you and commend you uh, you are america's representative of representatives in comparison to the other 435 members of congress and a copy of this letter is being sent to every member of congress and the Senate and President Biden as well. Public Advocate asks the other members of Congress in our letters, with all due respect, to attempt to achieve a higher level of consistent pro-family leadership. We do appreciate the efforts of many conservatives and pro-family members, but the creative, upbeat, and cheerful engagement of Marjorie Taylor Greene earns Public Advocate's Representative of Representatives Award. Public Advocate is giving this award and 120,000 petitions uh, demanding an end to the harassment of Christians in this country uh, because she has profoundly and consistently spoken nationwide uh, in every, as, a, as a national public advocate. Standing for two genders against the tide of strange, unlimited, fake self-descriptions of genders, articulating daily on all media platforms, the, the essential LMNOP values, a lifestyle of mainstream, normal, ordinary people. Plus, uh, you've been the hope for normality and not perversity being America's standard. You've defended former President Donald Trump's pro-family orders and regulations protecting families. You've assailed the Biden administration's terrible abuse of parents and children. You've been standing up for women in sports from getting beaten by men. And you've opposed girls in the bathrooms getting assaulted by men. Most recently, you've been condemning the Republican National Committee Chairman, Rona Romney McDaniel, for her betrayal of religious liberty and the pro-family, pro-traditional marriage platform and a bizarre partnership with the homosexual transgender lobby. Literally, hundreds of times, in every way, you reflect the hopes and beliefs of most Americans, and especially the 120,000 fellow Americans who have signed petitions demanding an end to the transgender abuse of children and Christians, and our beliefs, and our liberty. So thank you, and God bless you, and God bless America. One, one, one.